Dusseled off. <laughs> I have to say, this place reminds me a lot of Amsterdam's airport, so I'm not having too much trouble sort of figuring my way around. Uh, it's been a pleasant flight so far. The flight from home to here was great, perfect. Couldn't have asked for better, really. Um, so now I've got to wait around here for three hours. I look at the mess, I can see myself, I look at the mess. Uh, but yeah, four hours to kill, I don't really know. I guess I'm just gonna have a look around and such. Yeah, so. Bye for now. I'm just down at gate A64 waiting for the light to come in. And there's a bit of activity out there. It's not my plane, but it's. Actually, it's a German wing, so I'm not getting that thing. It's actually pretty quiet down here. It's serenely peaceful. <laughs> I take the sort of very regimented, very industrial architecture we've got going on here. Uh, so, yeah, uh, I've just eaten at the restaurant. I've had a chicken and prawn pizza, which was delish. Not so delicious was the bottle of uh, mineral water, at least I think it was mineral water because it tasted mineral awful. <laughs> uh, I had to chuck half a bottle away, but never mind, it happens. Now I'm just waiting, pretty much. So. Yeah. Walking the busy streets of Prague Central. Um, I've just been introduced to the, this thing, the iced Americano from Starbucks. And what I failed to realise was that it's basically raw coffee. So it didn't go down too well. I'm trying to slowly drink it, but it's proving difficult. Oh, oh. Sushi bar. Well spotted bar. <laughs> and how are you on this fine day? <laughs> okay, fair enough. <laughs> You're never too old for a bit of bubbles. Mm -hmm. Take your word for it. Yeah? Sure?
this here is a statue of someone, a Protestant who got burned. What did you say his name was? Yangus. Yangus. I probably completely butchered that, but, <laughs> but yeah. I always did like how people got burned at the stake. What the hell they did. Bar has taken me on an interesting tour of many of Prague's central back street areas, and I have never seen so many souvenir shops in all my life. Seriously. <laughs> Every corner you turn is like another souvenir shop or something. But here, at least I've spoiled, at least I've not spoiled the trees. And Bar was telling me. The glass that they make here is rather brilliant, but you can't really get it anywhere else, something like that. <laughs> uh, uh, there's a gallery, something that's not a souvenir shop. Oh, and beer. Beer is important. Oh my gosh, <laughs> this is absinthe ice cream. Absinthe ice cream. There's a new one for you. <laughs> Jewish shop, a Jewish shop, more gifts, 3D postcard, teddy bear. <laughs> I know this is a lot of graffiti around as well. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, I guess it is. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, massages. No thanks. Uh, I'm just following you, man. I've got no idea. We tried to find um, Charles Bridge, which is like the big, really big thing that I wanted to show me, so I'm looking forward to it. Uh, so, yeah. We may be off a beat path here. <laughs> We shall find it. Do not despair. We found it! See, you're not that bad, bye. <laughs> ah, that will be Charles himself. He looks very majestic. Got some sailors there. <laughs> Random. Yar. So yeah, we're gonna have a look over this bridge now. You were I remember you saying you were worried it was gonna be closed when I was here, but it seems to be open, so yay! No time like the present, I guess. Alright. Oh boy. I'm walking over this bridge and it's making me think of a part on World of Warcraft. There's a bridge. <laughs> there's a bridge! That goes into storm wind, and there's like statues on either side. It's kind of like that. Oh wow, wow, that's a nice view. There will be a lot of statues. Awesome. 
Ah, I thought. Do you see the, this? Yeah. Uh, this is the this is a chief castle. It's oh. a church of Saint Pete. Uh, uh huh. And uh, this is a white building. It's the ah. president house. Aha! Nice. It's like a. It's like White House, but <laughs> <laughs> only fancy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> wow. Lots of souvenir stands here as well. Oh, cool. That's one good item. And that's that's. Oh. Awesome. That's a view, alright. Everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> Again, going back to Durham, this reminds me of a bridge in Durham, but this one is fancier and bigger. Uh, this one is a Petrie's Dalbert. Mm -hmm. Don't know if I can get that in shelter. It's famous because they're going along. Ah. Yeah, you really get a great view from here. <laughs> There's a familiar sight. Yeah, I can see. Oh, yeah. I can see why you wanted, me, wanted to show me this. <laughs> Pretty awesome. <laughs> That's wonderful. That's just so wonderful on so many levels. Well, this is pretty much the equivalent of the five, the equivalent of a metro centre for those back home who know it. Yeah. Um, yeah, wow. I thought the metro centre was big, this this pretty much dwarfs it. This is a palladium. Um, it's actually a newer one as Bar was telling me. We're going to have a little look around it now and see if there's anything cool to find. So, mm -hmm. I'm just getting off the escalator here. Uh, oh, a bookshop. I don't know if we can use this. Alright, oh, yeah. Better safe than sorry. Bar is now attempting to eat something very spicy. Oh. Oh dear. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, we're gonna use chopsticks here. So, this is like the first time I've ever tried to eat with these. <laughs> so, yeah, this is, um, I forgot what it's called. Chicken tag soup. This is what I'm having, along with the uh, best apple juice I've ever tasted in my life. Some cappy, it's called, but apparently it's expensive, which is unfortunate. So now I'm uh, gonna tuck in. All right. Well, today on the, what I think it's called Camper, this place. I have no clue. Oh, I have a better shot here. Yeah. Uh, I'm just saying, we're on our way up to Prague Castle, or at least we're trying to find it. We know of a general location, it's a little there, but I have we have no idea where the actual entrance is. So we're kind of just following the tourists. Uh, yeah, Mark, I kind of wish you were here right now because your sense of direction is impeccable, as we all know. So, wish us luck. <laughs> well, Prague's been called the city of a hundred spires for a reason. There's your reason. 
Look at that view. Uh huh. Bird. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if you can make it out in the video, but there's a bird on the roof just over there, I think. Huh. But yeah, just take all that in. Well, there wouldn't be much of a to a castle if you didn't see some medieval personage. And here they are, a jester and knight. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, here we are at Prague Castle. It's not a castle you might, the kind of castle you might have been expecting, really. Not like what you see back home. This is a completely different style of building, really. It's, it's more like a mansion, in a way. But it is a castle nonetheless. And Bar tells me there'll be a changing of the guard at some point. They have that just like the back, have back home at Buckingham Palace. So. Oh, that'd be cool. Consegue ver, amor? Pega te levante.
Five bit of military tradition. Uh, Well, we're now exploring Prague Castle, and there's a lot to see. We've just been through the courtyard and the gardens, and now we're coming through to believe, another courtyard. And wow! This is saved by this is cathedral. Wow! Just saved by yeah. Wow! Look at that. Durham Cathedral, eat your heart out. This is huge. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> I'm swimming amongst the sea of people. Inside St. Vitus's Cathedral, I probably completely mispronounced that. But sadly, I can't take photos of the whole place, but this is still pretty awe-inspiring. Look at the size of this place. You just, you just imagine how long it must have taken people to actually build this. It's better, getting handy with the camera. It's brilliant stained, art, stained glass art there. I may not be a deeply religious person, but, but I do have an appreciation for great stage work and such, artwork and such. I'm really muddling my words today. This is incredible. Here in this, another courtyard area, and there's another view with the majestic St. Vitus's Cathedral. This is obviously some kind of presidential residence here, I'm guessing. It's like all this going on. We're going to go down then, aren't we? And we're going to try to anyway. <laughs> I was just saying at the bar, this makes me think of the 7,000 steps of Skyrim, so if I could do that, this should be no problem. And yeah, it's definitely better to go down than up, I think. <laughs> I might try to go down here on some skates. That would be fun. <laughs> but there's a plus side to this. You get a grand view of Prague from here. Maybe. It'd be better if that wall 
it was moving away, but nothing's fair. Uh, I apologise for my shoddy camera work again. Yeah, I'm trying. Sorry, I'm just. I was just sort of following you, half following you. <laughs> I can hear a train. I don't see a train. <sighs> yeah, going down is definitely better than going up, I think. And I have to say, Prague Castle in its entirety has been pretty awesome. I do love medieval architecture and all that sort of thing. Goes with liking fantasy and such, doesn't it? Ooh, there's a clock, it's about. I think it's quarter past one. Yeah. Sounds right. Nearly there now. Oh, people. Lots and lots of people. But that's not really a surprise. And what is that I can hear? Oh, it's not a train, it's a band. A one band band. Wow, that's impressive. I really thought that was a train. That's cool. Where to go, dude? Here's the usual souvenir. Shops and such. These are everywhere. Oh, I know that song. Oh, it's Walk of Life. I know this song. Oh. Walk of Life by Dice Streets. Very nice. And that's Fox Nation Sun Fox. Here's the one man band. No, sorry, it's a two man band, but still, that is really cool. I don't know the song, bro. Do you know the song? No. Yeah. Yeah, I do. Do its original. Gotta get kudos. But just when you thought you'd see the last of the bubbles. Fights for freedom, one of freedom's sons, alone in his airy sphere of blue and bronze. William King Seymour, 87, 75. Oh, and there's more. Ah. Huh. Something to do with me then. This monument is an expression of the British community's lasting gratitude to the 2,500 Czechoslovak airmen who served with the Royal Air Force between 1940 in 1945 for the freedom of Europe. Many were subsequently persecuted by the communist regime in Czechoslovakia. It was unveiled by the Right Honourable Nicholas Sobs MP on 17th of June 2014. Wow, this is actually pretty recent. It is a gift to the Czech and Slovak people from the British community living and working in the Czech and Slovak republics. Wow, something a bit close to home then. That's really awesome. <laughs> that 
Vamoose. Shoo. Yeah, there we go. There we go. There we go. He gets the message, I think. Yeah. See you later, alligator. Wow. Getting another ride right on a tram here. <laughs> see these around the city, but I don't get to ride these very often. Traps of ones before as well. Figures. Back what I said yesterday. This is Frog's add to the retro side. I don't actually know what this place is exactly, but I'll find out. I'll find out. That's what it is. I don't know. Well, I'm here in uh, what's this place called again? Vishherad. I probably messed that up. I I'm messing every pronunciation up I come across. But there's one reason that we came here, and it's got probably the best view of Prague in the whole city. I mean, look at it, you can see practically the whole city, you know? It's just a part of the city. <laughs> Something a little bit different now. This is, it's basically a little hand-drawn maze, and I am going to try and find my way in and out of it. So, are you up for this? <laughs> you want to try this? No. Right, I'm gonna have a go and see if I can do it. This seems simple, you know? I'm not gonna cheat here, you know? I'm not like that. Uh, well, in the corner we go. <laughs> uh, oh, this isn't gonna be hard, seriously. Uh, I think. I hope I'm not getting lost here. Uh, uh. <laughs> if this was an actual maze with green hedges, I'd probably be in trouble. But at least I know I can get out of this any time I want. But I'm determined to make it to the end. Uh. Uh. <laughs> it's just one lap. Half really, I don't think it's very complicated. But yeah, I do sleep with things like this. And apparently, Bar has done this before, so. <laughs> this must have taken some time to make before, if you think about it. Going into warp speed now. <laughs> nice surroundings for you, by the way. If you're getting sick of seeing white lines. I think I'm doing it again now. We're on the home stretch. He's going for it. He's, oh no, he's not. No, he's not. Ah, I thought I was done there. It tricked me. It tricked me. <laughs> Come on, logs straight. Logs straight. Oh. I've got to be getting close to the end now. Surely. I must find my way out of this maze of madness and day having <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's 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 no fun, though. You need to do it properly. Uh, right. I'm on a very outmost ring now. I've got to be getting there. I've got to be getting there. I've got to be getting there. Come on. Haven't I already been here? Yes! <laughs> I made it to the centre. And now... Ah, he's out. That was fun. Exploring around a little bit now. There's a lovely little park here with a 
a couple of under constructed or under repair statues and there's been some spectacular sights here as well. It offers some great views across the city. Got some buildings here. I know my Coventry is so delightful. Oh, did you just see the cathedral there? Yeah, sounds good. This cemetery is where a lot of Prague's famous literary talent are actually buried. So I guess I'll kind of be walking along some well known people in a way. So, famous writers are here. Yeah. There's a lot of them. It's pretty awesome how there's such a memorial here. This is a very Alphonse Mucha. Sabi, I haven't heard of him. I feel like I should have. <laughs> One absolutely majestic cemetery. We've left Visserad now and we're just having a little walk in the streets. Tram. I want the trams back home. Why do we not have these back home? Never mind, we can't have it all. It's a beautiful shot of the river side there. Make me want to take a dip. It really is. <laughs> Down by the seafront now. And it's a lot of the local wildlife. But I wanted to show you. <laughs> nice to see the swans here too. <laughs> and over there. I thought I'd seen everything until now. It's literally a boat and a hotel. You get a boat out. Brilliant, it's just brilliant. Right, I'm here at the Military Aviation Museum. I forget exactly where it is, shame on me. But yeah, um, I'm a little bit in my element here because I do like military planes a lot. And there's a few to look at. Uh, I couldn't tell you what all of these are. But I do know what these two are. Over there is a hip, a me four, if you'd be called it. I forget. I'm horrible with these designations, but I do know that this is a high D. Yeah, anyone who's played Metal Gear Solid will recognise this chopper. Very famous. I do believe I've seen this one before. It's when I get to the game, um, me Sukhoi Su-25. Very famous Russian jet. I think the Czech Republic used a lot of Russian military equipment. And yeah, this is very really cool. I can't film everywhere because I'm not allowed to film the airfield. I don't actually know where it is, so I think I'm okay here though. I hope. Don't want to annoy anybody. But yeah, this is quite awesome. I know a certain brother of mine would probably like to see these. <laughs> so yeah, I'm getting the flyboy. So. Well, look what I ran into, the F4 Phantom, oh yeah, McDonnell Douglas F4 Phantom, what a lovely little place, it's time for something a bit older now, we're going back to the era of World War One with these, yeah, the famous biplanes and such, I mean this one here is the Aero A10, yeah, this, this one, I mean look at that, the design's pretty archaic. <laughs> this is the Aero AB11. I can't say I've heard of these before. They must all be of Czech design. That's right. Oh no, not all of these were used for. Oh no, this one's a racing plane actually. So some of these are actually racing planes, not military planes. Oh wow, look at that. <laughs> That's a dinky little car here, yeah. truck even. Hello there. <laughs> Have a nice flight. <laughs> wow, we're 
just taking a look inside the air museum now and wow I've never seen so many aircraft packed into a small space before all of these um, there's a lot of competition aircraft here and I see some jets as well there's a bunch of exhibits to do with the kind of gear that Czech pilots use and such and it's pretty impressive how they managed to keep these in such good condition for such a long time and I got to admit I didn't know much about what aircraft the Czech Republic used at all and I suppose why would I but very very cool check it out they had unmanned drones before today that's right that's actually an unmanned recon drone and look at this this is the big no it's the Sukhoi Su 78 fitter air and look at that wouldn't really want to get you could do the limbo on this <laughs> Yes. Oh, it's a space capsule. Oh, I can't see it very well from here. But... Soyuz. Oh, wow. Soyuz 28 capsule. Yeah, you can see it's all been burned from the atmosphere. Up there's a real piece of history. Now, this is how you relax. Definitely. <laughs> Just a few more planes. We've got on here. Uh, nice little dinky car. <laughs> Someone's about to have an interesting day. <laughs> Look at the size of this thing. Possibly the biggest plane here, maybe. And over there we have some kind of munitions. There's a, that's a German plane, anyone could tell that. And there's a female radio operator in there. Hi. Right, well, today we're checking out Prague Zoo, which is apparently the second highest ranked zoo in the world. So, this ought to be pretty interesting. Oh, we've got a map right here. Don't know what the number means, but. Whoa, this place is rather big. Mm. And me being a bird person, I'm looking forward to seeing the birds the most. So, let's get to it. We're now in the Indonesian jungle. I'm supposed to replicate the conditions of the place. And there's some. What's this one? Oh, some fish. Fish and turtles. Ah, yeah, there they are. Which one is this? Oh, fish. Oh, these guys are big. In there. <laughs> oh, you can smell this place. Oh, it's the Komodo monitor. Komodo dragon. It doesn't seem to be around. Unless I just can't see him. I've got. I don't see him. That's a shame. He's probably sleeping. Maybe. That corrected, there he is. I remember this type of bamboo like that. Mm. Yeah, it's just a Komodo dragon. Do you believe? Wow, big guy. Just stepping under the trees here. Whoa. It really does feel like I just stepped into the. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we do, yeah. I'm getting up with some monkey business. That's how 
Let's see what's up the stairs as we ascend back into daylight. Tricks not over yet. Ooh, the orangutan. Surely we can't miss these. I can't see him. I can't see him. <laughs> they, they're not exactly hard to miss, are they? <laughs> Man, everyone's asleep today. Where is he? <laughs> Search me. How much we go for the Indonesian jungle? Have a look. Ooh, these. Ah, I should know what these are. Look at the type of. That maybe? I don't know. Uh, yeah, no. It might be in here. Tell you what. Oh, there, there he is. There he is. Ah, I got out of it. There's the little guy. <laughs> See if not all asleep. This is the tree shrub. So I finally woke up out of bed this morning. <laughs> As we go into daylight once again, there's a happy picture of some oh, your times. Uh, guess what makes up for not seeing them. Mm. So, we're proceeding onwards and upwards now. No, but we're going to It's very, very zoo-like, I'll say that well, but uh... Hmm... Eeny, meeny, miny, mo, catch a day. Okay, okay. <laughs> I got vetoed. Ah, uh, we found the orangutans after all. <laughs> Looks like you enjoy a nice summer's day or two. <laughs> It's a baby cheetah. Baby cheetah, we've got here. <laughs> oh, look at him go. Oh, hey. <laughs> That's wonderful. It's actually a baby ocelot. I was mistaken. So he is very active. Oh, there you are. Good little one, huh? In the words of Revolver Ocelot, you're pretty good. Right, I'm not sure what this is here. Uh, oh, it's a Cuban Hootie. I've never heard of these guys. <laughs> oh, I'll check that one out. Seems to like all the attention. <laughs> Good eye, mate. Yeah, that's what they'd say when you normally see one of these guys. <laughs> Got ourselves a kangaroo right here. Unless it's a wallaby, I don't know if it's a wallaby or a kangaroo, I can't tell the difference. One of my Australian friends, tell me what the difference is. <laughs> it's not a zoo, you see a zebra. <laughs> What's black and white and red or blue? How do you handle I do. <laughs> no, I'm asking. What? What? I know. Yeah. <laughs> no. What's black and right, white and red all over? A zebra with sunburn. Thank you. I'm here all week. I'm over a feathered friend. Always going now. Don't even see that very well. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I think that's his way of saying hello. Oh.
Gorlara. There's another pair here enjoying the sun. <laughs> oh, we're on a rugged divorce horns. <laughs> we can't see this way well, but it seems to be a kind of parrot or macaw, maybe. Can't quite tell what species that is. He's having a very close way over the looks of it. This one's the Eastern Wallaroo, which sounds like a cross between the kangaroo and the wallaby, which I didn't know existed. <laughs> now here's what I've never seen before, these are Bactrian camels. I don't think I've ever seen a camel before, I can't remember, in the few times I've been the zoos. <laughs> don't get the hunt now. Interesting mix here, you've got Korean oh, geese just pop out over there and a herd of bison. I'm going to climb this here observation tower. This is me confronting my favourite heights once again. If being a plane, I can handle this. Oh. Don't worry. I'm not gonna fall, I'm not gonna fall. Yes. Now then, I'm gonna get a nice view from the people. For sure. Cool. Oh. Check it out. <laughs> It's quite nice from up here, but uh, I definitely want to see that again. Oh, I'm not going to talk. Uh, I'll let you know if I get to the top then. <laughs> well, after a couple of narrow staircases, I made it. At the top here, and there's a nice flag. Being a little bit, uh, not going to stay up here too long, I don't think. But there's a lovely view of the up there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm going now, I'm going now. Not sure this ad was supposed to be part of the zip. Not sure this animal's supposed to be part of the <laughs> oh, poor little kitty. That's cute. Elephants. I mean, what can you say, really? Majestic. Huge. Star Wars. Elephant Rock. <laughs> Can't believe I'm this close to them. That's amazing. Oh wow. <laughs> Uh oh. I don't know how to ruin. Elephant Valley, huh? Yeah. I'm not about to get some ruin, but you know what? I don't care. Those are the long necks. Giraffes. Well, I've wanted ruin for a bit, but <laughs> hopefully not while I was up there. I was like this, but. Yeah, the Ring-tailed cortis. Doesn't seem to ride mine around too much. Oh, oh, he's gone inside. Ah. Oh, there's another one. It's awesome. <laughs> awesome. It's got a head for heights, this one. Not quite the hungry hippos, but hippos nonetheless. 
<laughs> yes, the one hippo and three cola at once. Oh, he's coming out. <laughs> Thinking about it. Oh, maybe not. He's gone back here. Oh, he's changed his mind. Never mind. Not sure what these are, but. Yeah. <laughs> well, the others have finally come out to play. <laughs> awesome. See, the rear does have its advantages. Oh, the bear's in the house. Oh. <laughs> One's a bit cabbish, I think. Oh, rats are awesome. My joke, doesn't look like their habitat's very icy. I thought it would be. But I don't know, what do I know? I'm not a zoologist. That's really awesome. And I'm getting wet, so they put my uh, body on the lens. I'll go around the penguins. Well, you know what they say, nice work for ducks. <laughs> A little bit envious at the moment. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> it's the same like was in Pirates of the Scout looking after him. Oh, and there's one over there. <laughs> Hello, little guys. Wow, we've come to the end of our little zoo trip. It's been rather awesome. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed it too. Wow, <laughs> I just got finished up with the laser game here. I'm a state. This one is nothing like that cool. I came last in both my games out of my teams, but I don't care because I had a blast. So, you can hear the sound a bit. Too bad I couldn't film in there, but well, you know, check out the artwork. Oh yeah. <laughs> Love this place. And there's a little bonus. Macross! It's a battle pod from Macross, I don't believe it. That's epic. Right, I'm heading back to the hotel. Peace out. Well, that's it. I'm here at Bag Airport, just getting rid of the off. Sorry I look so tired, I had to get up pretty early. And I was at a laser game last night, so... Uh, uh. But, yeah. It's very well Prague. It's a bit interesting. And, yeah. It was good to meet a good friend from a long time now. Oh my god, I'm not making much sense. Ah. Come on Chris, wake up, wake up, wake up. Wake up. It was really good to meet the bar, a good friend of eight years, and 
Yeah, friends crossing distances and all that. So, lots of rock, So, you're on the other side.